All right, Mike Wood here. Uh, we're going to do something a little different with this uh, video. I want to show some examples of what I do to take pictures at home. And so I've got some, uh, some different supplies here, and uh, we're just going to go through and just show you some of the details. I'll come in close on some of this and show you what the video actually looks like. Um, bring the camera in and show you. So what I've got set up right here, this is something I just ended up with. Uh, uh, was kind of lucky through some uh, um, surplus, uh, surplus products. And I ended up with some plastic uh, display material from uh, um, displays and stuff. It's black on one side and white on the other. Uh, but a poster board will do something very similar. So if you just have a poster board and uh, you set that up on a, uh, you know, on a box or something like that uh, and uh, let it flow down, then you've got a nice little place that you can put uh, your items that you're taking pictures of. So if I want to take a picture of some obsidian, for example, put that right there and then I can bring the camera in here close. And I've got the, the camera turned up fairly light, and we can come in close to that. And, and so you can see, I, you know, it just has a nice white background that will disappear, and then I can uh, crop that down, take whatever pictures I want, and do what I need with it, and I've got a nice good picture. And this is all I've got for my setup. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and take a shot of that and then um, put, it, uh, put an overlay of the image here so you can see how good it looks uh, with just a little bit of, uh, of Photoshop or GIMP, you know, a little bit of editing. In fact, uh, um, you can do a lot of this, uh, just brightness and contrast is really all you need with um, just something like uh, uh, with eBay's tools. So. There's one example, uh, you know, we could throw a, another rock in there and, you know, we've got the same kind of thing going on. Now, that's a lighter item, so if I wanted to, I could uh, use the black side, right? So we could put the uh, black side of the poster board down and put the lighter item on there and come in and take the picture where we want it to. Now, if the lighting uh, isn't uh, doing what we need it to, we move things around a little bit until we get the picture that we want and uh, I can come in here and and I'm just using my uh, my cell phone camera but uh, I can come in here and we can darken that I can brighten it so I can do whatever I need to with this particular one I think we want it darker so that we can take a picture there. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'll take a picture here and I'll overlay it into the video. So you can see what uh, I'm able to do with a little bit of editing in GIMP. And uh, I can work with that contrast and, uh, and uh, work and whatnot to, with the item. Now I also noticed something. This is just a piece of shell I found uh, out in the, the Utah desert. And I noticed something on here that might be fun to... Uh, to put into the listing. We'll see if I can show it here, but it looks like there's a little bit of a fossil in there. And so that might be something that I want to show. So I can take a picture of it close up and show people, hey, there's a, a little miniature fossil in this rock or what appears to be a, a fossil uh, in the rock there. So anyway, if that were something that I was uh, going to list, then uh, that's you know something I can show them there. Uh, I want to show you a few other examples of things you can do. Get this uh, set back up here in the office and I you know this isn't anything special. I, I'm not uh, my setup here is not professional at all. Uh, as you're, you're noticing, this is nothing uh, fancy that we're doing. Um, I'm just taking the materials I had in my car, like that stuff over there on my seat that I'm going to show you in a minute here. 
So you use whatever you have. Use whatever you have and make it work. So in my car, I had a box. Uh, I've probably got other boxes uh, around the office available that are bigger, uh, but this is what I had in the, in the car. So if you don't have a poster board, but you have some white paper, put that out on the table and, and you can use that. Uh, you could use a, a box like this to encase something and if you have a, a bit of material, a pillow sheet or, or a sheet, uh, you know, preferably white, uh, either white or black. Uh, colors aren't going to be real great for, for stuff like this, but here I have something that was just in my car that's white and uh, I could take that and put it into this box, drape it around the box, whatever to make a, a little bit of a, a home studio. And then I can put my item right there. So if I wanted to take a picture of this, this is actually something I have on eBay, the unbreakable sunglasses visor clip that uh, is something that I want to, to start selling. And I found this uh, uh, available from the guy that uh, does my molds, my plastic uh, parts for my, uh, my knife sharpener, the Viper Sharp. And uh, he had these available from a, a mold that was abandoned. The uh, people that uh, did it don't want to work with it anymore. And it's pretty ingenious. I just have to let the world know that it's there and that slides over the, the visor on your car. And then this little clip right here uh, holds the sunglasses. And so stick it up on the car visor like that and with one hand you can slide your glasses in and pull them out. Very convenient, very nice. Uh, you know I thought hey I could sell that. So that's something I've put up on eBay uh, uh, as the unbreakable uh, visor sunglasses clip and I'm going to be putting that up on Kickstarter. So there's another option that uh, we can work with uh, just having a, a little bit of material. Uh, you, you know something like that. I mean this thing here this is this will work just fine. This is a, uh, you know, it's, it's white material, but it's a, a suit, you know, a, a disposable uh, um, suit that you can put on. So, uh, there's a, you know, a couple of options there. I mean, white paper, um, use a, a poster board or something like that. Um, or a, a, you know, a box with some white paper in it and stuff like that. So there's a lot of options uh, of what you can do to, to take your pictures. I had one more thing I wanted to show you real quick here. I have this uh, sitting in my car. Now this is a dark green piece of material, so I normally wouldn't use this to take pictures. But if you had a white piece of material, go to the thrift store and buy something like this. You know, it doesn't, uh, uh, it's not going to cost much to, to grab something like this. Most likely you have a, a white sheet or pillowcase around the house anyway. But you can put that out there, put your item on there, and then as long as you've got contrasting colors, that's the thing that's going to make your, your pictures pop when you're taking a picture from home. So I'll show you that one real quick. And we'll just take a look uh, there. Um, with that uh, green and uh, if we lighten things up, uh, that's something that we can almost uh, eliminate the background. Um, not quite the, uh, uh, you know, not quite as, uh, as high quality as, as I'd want. You know, not, not quite like you'll get with a white background, but you can see there with a little bit of editing, that's not bad either. And, and as we back out here and, and look at that uh, and take a picture, it you know, it, it really can just about make that background disappear. And in post-editing, it's gone. Okay. Now, maybe you want to, to have a little bit, you know, maybe with a, a nice professional uh, um, picture, maybe we want to have a little bit of background in there. Most of the time on eBay, they want to see something that doesn't have background. But if you're doing a, an image of an item that you have, um, uh, on your website or something like that and you want to put it on for fo uh, social media then an image like this might be okay because uh, that's something that you can actually 
you take a photo of that and put that in post editing and, and work with some filters. Uh, Instagram has some of these filters. Uh, it's not that hard to take pictures at home, especially if you've got a smartphone with a camera on it. Yeah, it'll take a little bit of time learning. Uh, uh, a tripod makes a big difference, so instead of shaking while you're looking at the item and moving around, if you've got a tripod, I've got a little one here that I use uh, for stuff like this that I got off of eBay for just a few bucks. So if I have a, a small tripod like that and I can set my, get this down small here, I can set that right next to my item and let the tripod hold the camera and then go take uh, the picture so see now all of a sudden I'm nice and steady and it's easier to take a picture okay so a tripod's a good idea too um, but hey even if you've just got a, a stick uh, that you can help uh, steady your hand with or something like that That'll help. Anything to lean on. I've, I've used chairs sometimes. My hands are not steady when I take pictures. Uh, this video is much better than, uh, uh, than some I've done in the past, mostly because of the quality of the camera and how my, my phone is uh, steadying things as I do the video. So there's some good insights on how to work with a home, a home studio, taking some pictures on a budget. It is not a difficult thing. Uh, it's something that any of you can do.